Hello everyone and welcome back to Chronos Plays Trails of the Sky second chapter. Now, in between episodes, I went ahead and I looked at my ornaments and I noticed Chloe had none, so I equipped her with all this stuff. Then I looked at Sherizard and realized that I'm kind of screwed if I have to use this party because uh, I really don't have much. I can put scent. That's not a good idea. Sleep, sure. And down here we can put on scent? No. Uh, nah, shield? We do shield one and lowers it by five points, which is not great. Or we can just leave that one empty, give her like HP two, mine two, defense. Uh, not seal, not attack. Cast two? EP cut? Yeah, yeah, sure. Why not, right? Hopefully we'll get another Wind Crystal. Uh, I think we're going to the deck, right? Uh, this way back to the ship, uh, the ledger, my, okay, so down? No point going down, let's hurry to the dragon. Here! Yes, Dorothy! Oh wow, it's so big! He's so handsome too, it's a shame he's asleep. No it's not. Hope he wakes up soon. Shut up, Dorothy. I told you, girl, if he wakes up, we're in trouble. Still, hell of a creature. Wow. Hmm, incredible Harley does it justice. Estelle. <laughs> you guys came too, huh? Your Highness, it is dangerous out here. Please, I must ask you to return to the cabin. <laughs> I'll be fine, General. Besides, seeing it up close, it's truly magnificent. magnificent. Is it really asleep, though? We've confirmed a heartbeat, so it isn't dead. Even so, we pumped enough tranquilizer into it to stop an army full of monsters, of normal monsters. Uh, it will be down for a while. Yep, oh, famous last words. Uh, cool, I hope that, uh, that's good then. Speaking of things being good, does anybody see that Leonhard, low whoever guy around? Huh, I doubt he could be hiding. Low held the gospel, which was the linchpin of this experiment. If he is not here, does that mean they have abandoned their quest? According to the patrol ships that chased the dragon in, there was never a rider visible. I'd say it's very likely he wasn't present to begin with. Hmm, not surprising. He probably learned of our plan and fled, typical of his sort of criminal, uh, typical of his sort of criminal, uh, cr typical of his sort of criminal element, all right? Huh, I don't know, he doesn't seem like the kind of guy to just turn tail and run. Indeed, we shouldn't let our guard down just yet. Incidentally, where are you taking the dragon after this? For the moment, the plan is the to tow to Liston. After that, we'll discuss it with the Me Her Majesty and Cassius first. I see. Huh? Dorothy? It's... do you find something? Uh, maybe it's just my imagination, but... Is there a bump on its forehead? What? Yeah, you guys did not notice that? It's a gospel. Yeah? She's right. There's this little bump. I wouldn't call that little. It's the size of that guy's head over there. <laughs> There's a slit on it, actually. Maybe it's like an eye of some sort. Maybe it's a gospel. Whoa. No. The gospel. It's here. Oh, is it going to black out? Huh? Bro, I'm a dragon still, and I'm awake and pissed. I mean, at least he didn't aim for the show. Oh, never mind. <laughs> I was gonna say, at least he didn't aim for the ship. What? Damn you! You will not escape. Sh swords get to us in the air, sir. Maybe if we can, can we? Is that not the blackout effect? Maybe not. All right. Now entering Panzer Dragoon. What the hell was that? Oh, a missile? He missed. Ah, this, this dragon's either got eyes in the back of its head or we suck. Could be both, I guess. No good, gotta miss this can't like, get a lock. Damn it all, if we, if we can see the heat signal right here too. Must be jamming our missiles somehow. All right then, give it a taste of the main guns. 
The target is increasing speed. Uh, 2300 slag per hour. 24, 25, 26. Tch, what a monster. Dragon, really. None of the patrol ships will be able to pursue it. Our sales engine can keep up with that. All hands will accelerate to flake combat speed. 3200 SPF. Or SPH. Uh, all hands brace for G-Force. Are, are, are you saying we're going to ludicrous speed? But wait, what does that mean? The massive acceleration and thrust will feel like it makes us heavier. Crouch down and brace yourself. Okay. Flake speed, engage. Do not let it escape. Aye, ma'am. Wah! I gotta watch space balls now. You're right. Stop this crazy thing. God, that movie's so good. I mean, it doesn't look like we're catching up to this thing. Like, at all. Like, at all, at all. We've... Oh, wait, is it getting bigger? We might be catching up to it. Uh, nope, it's going down. Surprised this thing doesn't just do, like, a loop around us and then, like, blast us out of the sky. I might actually do that. Dragon is descending! At this rate, we'll lose visual! Keep going! Do not lose it! How can we still be in the cloud? Wait, where is this? What are you... The Neville Valley! Could we already be in the mist? Ugh. Oh, going to the pirate base. No, wait! We can't be going- the pirate base is our place, right? Dragon descended to 1200 yards! Args! 11, 10, 9! Dragon lost, ma'am! <laughs> Julia. So we lost sight of it? We did. The northwestern part of Neville Valley, the place where the fog is deepest. Can we dock to Arcel at the old fort? No, the Arcel is too large. I see. The operation is over then. Our All operation ships are to patrol the Neville Valley region. The Arcel will return to Bose. Okay, so we're not fighting the dragon right now? <laughs> Is that a dragon on top of the airship, like in art form? The dragon has fled to the northwestern corner of Neville Valley. It's part of the valley that's hardest to traverse and it's covered in deep fog, being further in than the bandit base was. Okay. In other words, scouting by airship will be difficult. <sighs> difficult at best. There's really no option but to dispatch an expedition on foot. But wait a second! If we send in a whole army, the dragon will just run away. She has a point. I think we'd better try and shake him at, uh, strike at him with a smaller group while he's still vulnerable. I mean, you like us to leave it to you. Well, we aren't more, uh, we are more used to investigating something on difficult terrain than most of your troops. I would say we're the right people for the job. Huh. Do you have any idea how you would investigate this? As I recall, there's no real road into that section of the valley. Simply wandering around and praying to Adios that you'll find something could take days, at minimum. Hey, but I'm good at that. Uh, well... Leave that to me. Is this a god? It's a god. Oh. A god, Tina! Yo, sorry to butt in. Uh, pardon us. What are you doing here? And more importantly, are you sure you, you, are you sure you should be up and about? Like I told Tina, this is nothing. Just a bunch of scratches. Tina, is he serious? Estelle, stare. Tina, Estelle, stare. Uh, yeah. I don't think a god's really pushing himself. I see. Well, okay then, I guess. Hmm. You have plenty of energy, if nothing else. You said leave it to me, but do you even know what you're talking about? Yeah, Ludrun filled me in on the details. That overgrown lizard's disappeared into the northwest of Nebel Valley, right? Yeah, what, but what can you... I know a man who knows a lot of that. The guy in the cabin? Oh, I found him earlier. If we ask him, we should be able to find a way to get into the corner of the valley. Oh. Who's... Estelle, we met him. We actually slept at his house. A tough old timer by the name of Wellmer. Yeah, that guy. He lives on the eastern side of the valley. He bragged to me once that he got across the ravine that divides the part of the valley from the rest. Oh, right, right. The old, uh, the old man living in that little hut? <laughs> Impressive. Your constant hunt for information has borne fruit, you might say. Even if you find the dragon, what you tend to do, hit it with my god dang stick. 
It is not what I would call a trivial foe. Do you intend to slay it yourselves? This is gospel on the thing's head, right? Job one is to deal with that. Huh? It does follow the reason that uh, it does follow that the reason the dragon has been grown violent is due to the gospel. The gospel has been responsible for all sorts of bizarre phenomena be before now, after all. And if we nullify the gospel, perhaps we can put an end to the dragon's rampage. Sounds like a good plan to me. When you say you'll break the gospel, you remind me of what Father Graham did. He hit the gospel with an artifact and shorted it out, but we do not exactly have a surfeit of artifacts. Surfeit? Not like a stock? Yeah, we don't have time to fiddle with stuff like that. We're just gonna smash that thing to bits and frame it all. What? Oh, hang on a second. Can you really break a gospel that easily? Whenever I handled one, it seemed like it was really sturdy. Let's just say we got a solution to that little problem. Take a look. It's in a book, reading rainbow. Your sword. There's something fitted into that. Oh, now I see. Uh, Russell tossed me a new gizmo of his in the mail. It's a little something for breaking gospels. For real? Huh, how's it meant to work exactly? Oh, I'll explain. The unit on the hill applies high frequency, vibra high frequency vibrations to the blade that will help it break the gospel's frame. Because of the vibration, the motor will break after a few hits. But Grandma is sure that it will hit a, a that if it you hit a gospel cleanly with the vibrating blade, the gospel will break. Oh, I uh, I don't think I quite get it at all, but it sounds incredible. <laughs> Liberal's greatest living genius comes through once again. I got Tito attach it when it arrived, and it seems like it works. All that's left now is to find the dragon and give me a give him a good one to the forehead. So, Mr. General, how's the sound how's that sound for a plan? Dots. If Russell's given you a fighting chance, I suppose I have no choice but to agree. So then You'll take it that's uh you'll let us take a crack at it. Yes, do everything you can. However, I will have an airship around the valley on standby. They will be able to respond if or when the dragon slips past you. Huh, sounds like a challenge. Uh, you just tell them they won't need that much ammo. Okay, so we gotta go to the valley. Julia, please come with me. The Our Civil Patrol and Bose airspace for while you search. Once you've discovered the dragon's location, please contact us. Roger, leave it to us. I'll have Sig carry a message once we, uh, once we find it. If I'm not with them, I'll ask him to stay near Estelle. Scream. Your Highness, if you do accompany them, please take the greatest care. Estelle Bright got, cro uh, got crossed her. Huh? What? If the dragon escapes the valley, the army will move to contain it with everything we have. We will not allow the people of Liberal to come to harm again. So do everything you can. Don't worry about protecting others. Focus on your mission and leave the rest to us. General. So basically, I got your back. Never thought I'd hear that from you, General. What brought that out? Nothing but politeness. Uh, not, not, uh, yeah. Nothing but politeness, Mr. Crossner. Captain, get us to the air. Sir! But oh, please join my party, Julia. Okay, fine. Be that way. Alright, so can I switch parties now? Because I gotta say... A couple of the people in my party right now aren't exactly set up for combat. Uh, sure. Okay, well, I guess we're bringing Oliver then. <laughs> we don't really have much choice, do we? Okay, so we're gonna see Welmer and ne uh, Nebel Valley, right? Yeah. More importantly, though... Are you really tagging along, Tita? <laughs> of course! If the vibration unit breaks, I can fix it right then and there! Unless it's stuck in, like, the dragon's head or something, right? I think my cannon can lend a hand against any flying monsters, too! Tch, fine, whatever. Just don't slow us down, short stuff. No problem! Estelle, what is it? What's the look? Oh, nothing. Ha, uh, nothing much. How do I put it? I just think you two seem a lot closer now. Ah, the proud raven wears his white armor openly at last. It moves a man to tears! What? The hell are you on about? <laughs> Look at that blush. But seriously, it looks like you got you get your feelings all sorted out, huh? Yeah, yeah, I do. I ain't gonna run off alone and get wrecked like a chump anymore. If I do, I'm gonna have a certain little someone guilt tripping me with her pouty face again. Oh god! <laughs> I see, I see. 
Okay, then, let's head to ne uh, Nebel Valley. No. Uh-uh. Absolutely not. Any, like, quest in here? You do! Revenue Trail Monster. All right. So we're gonna go to Revenue Trail. Fight that thing. What do we have for ornaments? So we're good. Okay. We're good, good. So everyone's set up good here. Um, that being said, which way is Revenue Trail? <laughs> uh, over there. All right, that must be it. So yeah, I spent like 20 minutes on the trail before Revenue, Revenue, uh, looking for a monster. I'm just like, what am I missing here? This, it should be on Revenue Trail. Uh, apparently it's on the second screen of this one that leads to the abandoned mine. I was gonna go there anyways, but this thing is horrific looking, holy crap. Uh, exterminate, yeah. So there's a few of them, which is fine. I guess go for this, uh, this one? Yeah. Well, we blinded two of them. Holy crap! Yeah, alright. Uh, aerial... Sure, one of them might move out of the way. I got... Kill this bad Larry, thank you. You guys weak against, actually. I guess it doesn't matter. Oh, I thought you went in there for a second. Okay, Oliver, good job. We're not gonna cause a lot of damage like that. We're probably gonna need to heal. I'm gonna super petrify them, you dick. Uh, let's see. You're weak to water. Sure. You're dead. That's great. Uh, reviving bomb. You. Hit him with that diamond dust. Good stuff. Uh, you should have diamond dust as well, yeah? Hmm, that might be better for single target. Let's try it. And Tita, I guess? Another smoke screen? Sure. Ah, oh, they resisted. That's fine. Alright, it got dead again. He is gonna die next. What do we have here? Sure. Yo! That was dope. Okay, I guess again we'll revive. We can always afford to buy more reviving bombs. Not the end of the world. Okay, Oliver. He's the weakest one. You heal everyone. You dick. Try that again then. Man, a guy, you're getting your ass kicked. Um, yeah, we'll hit him with this, I guess. I would like to be doing more damage, but... Oh, shoot. That's not bad. Next turn, he'll die. We just gotta keep everyone alive. Why? Why not? Nice... Whatever the hell you just did there. Kill this thing, thank you. And I think, with that... We can go on the offense here. The one that all- yeah, I was gonna say, the one Oliver is attacking should die. Instantly! And this one should be dead, too. If a god hits, but he does. Decent experience. Got leveled up. I'll exterminate the monster. All right, let's come in here and... heal up some EP for Estelle. Now, I'm gonna go check the abandoned mine, but I don't think that happens until later, but I just wanna be sure. 
Uh, but after that, if there's nothing, I'm gonna head back to Boze. We are back in the Bozy Guild. Here you go. No, I didn't want to talk to you. Yes, I'm going up the Nebel Valley. I know, we're Dragon Slayers now. You know, it's weird, but I'm a huge fan of Skyrim. In the game, like, I, I probably played it more than most PC games that I have. It's kind of weird, too, because, like, when I think of games that I absolutely, like, am obsessed with and adore, it, like... Skyrim doesn't come until like the very last of the list, but it's just it's a fun game to get lost in just to explore to attack to try different builds and, I, and I'm only thinking of this now because we're fighting a dragon by the way. That's the only reason this came up I was actually playing freaking Skyrim last night. Oh rank C. Wait, we were already rank C. Oh, okay. Never mind uh, Let's see Yeah, I was just playing Skyrim again My favorite thing to do in Skyrim is whenever like I start a new character do not do the first quest you're given like don't go to uh, Whiterun to like at least the, the 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 Jarl and then dragons just never spawn in the game I know right weird isn't it I actually kind of like it uh what am I doing I'm gonna go buy supplies and then I guess we'll call it a short episode today. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, press like and below. If you're not subscribed yet, my name of my videos, so I can check out some of the content, see if it's to your liking. If you're interested in watching the live stream, and on twitch.tv slash chronosplays, give my channel a follow, and be notified when I go live. Either way, thanks for watching. Hope you all have a great day.